Okay, so let's say we have a simple app in which we have only one text view on the screen and it is sticking to the top left corner of the screen. So what a center widget lets us do is, well, it helps us center the widget. But who's center? So to use the center widget in Android Studio, what I can do is I can click on this text here and click on else enter and it will prompt me with the options and I can click on wrap with widget. And what I will do is I will wrap the text with a center widget. And if I click on save now, and it will hot reload the app into the emulator. And what you can see is the text is in the center of the screen. So basically what a center widget does is it takes the width and height of the parent and it centers the set widget that is the child of the center widget into the center of its parent. So by default, the center is having the width and height of its parent. So what if you want to change that? So other than this child property, center is also having two other properties that are called height vector and width vector. So let's take a look at height vector first. So let's say I move the child down and add a height vector here. And what a height vector will do, it will take the height of this text view and it will multiply this height by the height vector and it will assign that height to the center. So right now in the emulator, we have a text view in the center here. And if I add a height vector of two, and if I save the app again, so now what you can see is that the text view is no longer in the center of the whole scaffold. So why is that? So basically what's happening is that the center is taking the height of the text view and multiplying that by the height factor and then assigning the height to the center itself. So right now the center is taking this much height and is centering the text view inside of that. And you can also see that the width of the center is the exact same width of the scaffold. This is because we're not using the width factor right now. So let's take a look at it. So if I go down here and add a width vector also and give it a value of two and then save it. So now you can see that the width of the center is no longer the width of the scaffold. It is twice the width of the text view that is the child of center. So basically what center is doing right now, it's taking the width and height of the text view and then multiplying that width and height by the width and height vector that is two at this point. So the width of the center is going to be twice the width of text view and the height of center is going to be twice the height of text view and it's centering the text view inside of it. So you can say that the child is the most important property of the center and if you want to adjust the width and height of the center, you can use the properties called width vector and height vector. So I hope you have a clear understanding of Flutter Center Widget. And if you find this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Retro Portal Studio for more Flutter Widget Essential videos. See you next time. Peace.